I'm going to go through how to use Google Forms when conferring with writers. You want to use a digital resource to collect and share feedback with your students and parents or just uh, to organize your own notes about your students' writing abilities. A uh, great way to start moving uh, into a little bit more um, advanced method or maybe just more convenient is to use a Google Form. So if you click on Google Form template here, it's going to open up. You'll notice um, a template copy and it's in spreadsheet uh, format. It's not in actually the live form. And um, I shared this with you in view only because uh, it's the only way you can make a copy of it and uh, make it your own. So the first thing you want to do is click on file and make a copy. And then you want to rename this because it says copy of template, copy of student writing. You want to get rid of copy of. You can rename it. I like to leave um, template sometimes if I want to make multiple copies of this. But maybe for the in this case, I'm just going to say um, student conferences, simple form. And then OK. And this might be a document that you're going to use just for yourself. You don't want to share this spreadsheet of information. And so it's fine if you leave the document locked up. Uh, without changing the share settings. Now if you do want to change the share settings to share with another teacher, all you have to do is um, click on the share settings and you can get a shareable link just by clicking here. And you can also add people's names uh, right here and so they could be collaborators on the document. All right, so when you're done with that, making sure it's renamed and the share settings are set, you're kind of ready to begin uh, how to work on this. Now I've left some uh, my first entry in here and you're welcome to go through and delete everything that is in this column. Uh, I did write a little comment here for you. One thing I want to show you before we uh, move on from here is you'll notice that in this one comment there's it goes on further than the than it shows right here. And so I left a note here for you. If you want to be able to view your responses more clearly be sure to se select wrap text under format. So if I were here in this section and I want to um, see it more clearly I could say wrap text and it just enables me to see all of the text I have in that field. Uh, and that's just a little tip uh, that I find um, a little bit easier to read what you've input. Um, now let's go to fixing this form so that you're ready to use it. So underneath where it says uh, form you want to click here and you want to go to edit form. Now if you want to see what it looks like first you can go to live form. So you can get a taste or you know see what it looks like. Either way, you can uh, venture in to fix the form. So it's um, anything that has a star next to it is required. On this form, I left only one thing required was the name. And that's the first thing um, that we need to look at. Right now, I just have student one, student two, all the way through 33, assuming you, um, you know num whatever number of students you have. I'm going to show you how to go in and change that so you can have your student's name uh, populate this space. So when you go to confer with a student, all you have to do is click on this menu and you can uh, put their name can show up. It's a nice fast way to do it. You can also select the genre that you are currently con conferring with the students. Another uh, way to save time. Now we made this really simple uh, following the Lucy Calkins uh, Writers Workshop and we started with compliments and you can check all of the areas that um, the student is showing great progress. So this is a kind of a um, part of the form where you can have multiple selections um, uh, that they are doing. Now if they are doing something other then go ahead and fill um, something that you are liking that you're seeing in the other section. Uh, now there's also the section for teaching point. Uh, again, it's the same um, kinds of areas, and you would check all of the areas that need extra attention with that student. Uh, you can do some free text here and type comments for the writer or, you know, comments about ways that they can improve. And then down below, uh, this comments for the instructor piece. Uh, you know, it's really great if you can then go back and track um, all of the uh, you know, areas that need extra attention. And are you seeing a pattern here? Is the content of the conference applicable to the whole class? Do a majority of the, uh, do a majority struggle with this particular target area? Um, so you can leave little notes to yourself um, and in order to improve your instruction that way. Now, if you want to edit this form, you can either click here, edit the form, or you could do it from the spreadsheet where it, um, on the spreadsheet, it says under form, 
edit form. So you can do it either way. Uh, let's see. Here we have, the, and it takes you into the um, how to edit. Now, if you haven't worked with Google Forms a lot, I'm just going to run through this pretty quickly. If you hover over the questions, um, you'll see these icons show up. So what you want to do is you want to select the pencil and that puts you into edit mode. And this is the first thing that you need to do. It says student one and you know, you're welcome to leave them um, by your student numbers if you number your student or you can go ahead and change um, them to their names. Uh, however you wish to do it. And then just go through and um, select them that way. Now, if one of your students, you don't have 33 students, it's really easy to take people off. You can just click um, the X and uh, it goes away. Now, if you don't want it to be a required question, just uncheck the box and then you can say done. And so when I um, uh, go back to that section, you'll see I'll show it to you um, when I go back in. Uh, if you want to take a question out, you don't want genre, or you want to edit the options, just click edit and you can change those options, or you're free to add another option if you had done another kind of writing that you wanted to add in. And so you can change that and just click done when you're finished with each of them. If you don't want um, a certain uh, section or question, uh, let's say you don't want the um, comments for the instructor or you want to change what it says, uh, you can go in and either change the text um, you can change the kind of question it is. You do multiple choice, you can do um, short text, all sorts of options, or you can simply delete this question and it takes it off of here. All right, so when you're finished with this, getting your form exactly how you like it, um, you can uh, change the theme. Uh, I know that most of your students are probably not drinking coffee if you're using this with your elementary students. So you can select themes up and down the side here um, one idea also, if you go to the um, default theme and you click customize, there's all sorts of options here as well. So you can click on header image and choose image and even more options show up along the side here. They're kind of hidden in here. Uh, so you can customize that. Um, I'm going to go back though, edit your questions. Uh, you can view the live form from here and let's see what it looks like. Oh, I took the header off, but oh well, we'll still use this. Uh, we'll see if the name changed. So you can see Stephen R that I had changed uh, had been put on there. Then my changes, I had taken a question off. It's no longer on here. Uh, if I um, click on these and uh, click narrative, and I click a couple of the boxes um, to show you when I submit, I can submit this. And it's nice because this is set up already where I can either go in and edit my response or if I'm meeting with multiple students, I can just click submit another response right away and my form will start again. So I'm ready for a new student. And so when I'm in uh, the spreadsheet, you can see again, here's my second entry. Um, and uh, if I want to sort these in any way. I can click the arrow at the top of these and it gives me lots of options. I can sort them alphabetically. Um, I can define name range. There's a lot of different ways that I could be sorting these um, so I'm able to look at the data uh, clearly and, and see how my students are doing with their writing.